Will ChatGPT replace data scientists? Lately, it feels like this is all people have been talking or while angrily arguing about. And with the release of GPT-4 in the past year, the code interpreter plugin, and now the announcement of an enterprise version of ChatGPT, it does seem like we're not too far away from the future in which robots are going to come and take over all our jobs. And if, like me, you're early on in your career or have just decided on a career path, it can be anxiety-inducing to have so much uncertainty around whether AI is going to take your job. Previously, when we heard about jobs getting automated away by AI, most of us thought that blue-collar jobs would be the ones to go. I don't think any of us ever really imagined that white-collar professions, especially roles like data science or programming, would ever be automated away by AI. So it makes sense that there's currently so much fear and negativity surrounding LLMs and generative AI. Which brings us to the point of this video. I've worked in data science for the past three years and I have an undergraduate degree in computer science. In this video, I'm going to do what I feel like most data science professionals are not telling you. Most people working in the field right now have very extreme opinions. They're picking a side and sticking to it. So in one camp, you have the doomsayers. These are people who think that it's all over for data scientists and that we should all just go out and start looking for new jobs right now. And then in the second camp, you have people who believe that AI is never going to replace data science, not in the next 100 years. And by simply refusing to look at the impact that generative AI is going to have in the data science field, these people are burying their heads in the sand, and I think that they're in denial. Let's look at some of the claims that these people have made. First, they said that although ChatGPT was great, it was solely a text interface, you couldn't upload data to it, analyze data, or perform any real data science tasks. And then ChatGPT introduced the code interpreter plugin that allowed you to upload files onto the ChatGPT interface and perform data science tasks without having to write a single line of code yourself. And then these people said that, well, this feature is of no use to companies because organizations are not going to allow their employees to upload sensitive company information onto ChatGPT. Fast forward to today, the enterprise version of ChatGPT has been released, which is both SOC2 compliant and encrypts data. And this enables companies to now let their employees upload data sets onto ChatGPT without having to worry about OpenAI having access to sensitive data. And now these people are going to come up with some other reason as to why data science jobs are bulletproof and will be around for the next 100 years or so. In my opinion, many of these people are in denial because they are afraid of the impact that generative AI is going to have on your job. And that's why in this video, I am going to examine both sides of the argument. First, we'll look at the bad, why your data science job is at risk. We'll look at all the aspects of the data science job that ChatGPT currently is able to automate, things that AI is only going to get better at in the future. Then we'll switch sides and look at why your data science job is safe, at least for now. We'll look at all the aspects of the data science job that ChatGPT currently isn't able to automate, things that human data scientists are really good at, that AI probably isn't going to come close to, not in the next decade or so. And by providing you with this balanced perspective, I'm going to leave it to you, the person watching this video, to decide whether ChatGPT is going to replace data science or not. Because honestly, I don't think the answer is as simple as a yes or no. I think the data science landscape is going to shift massively, and that in order to survive in it, we're all going to have to adapt and continuously learn. Okay, let's get into it. First, let's look at the bad of why your data science job is at risk. Reason number one is that ChatGPT can write code. Around 40 to 50% of the data scientist's day is spent on programming tasks. And obviously, this will differ based on the industry and company you work in. But just for simplicity, let's say 40 to 50% of your time is spent on writing code. Now, not only can ChatGPT write code, but it has gotten really good at it really fast. There's a huge difference between the quality of code written by GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, and future iterations are only going to get better. As of now, the GPT-4 model can turn hand-drawn sketches into fully-fledged web applications. 
It has also passed many coding interviews at top companies and has scored far better than human programmers. In fact, this software company CEO states that ChatGPT has reduced the amount of time taken by his employees to write code from nine weeks to just a few days. This is a 20 times efficiency improvement, and it's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Efficiency gains like this would mean that companies can start downsizing. Instead of hiring a team of 10 data scientists to do the job, they just need to hire three or four. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, ChatGPT can write code, but I do a lot more than just write code. I analyze data, build machine learning models, communicate insights to stakeholders. Well, ChatGPT can do all those things too. Which brings me to reason number two, the Code Interpreter plugin. This plugin has since been renamed to Advanced Data Analysis and allows you to upload files, analyze data, and build machine learning models all within the ChatGPT interface. With the Advanced Data Analysis plugin, I was able to build a customer segmentation model with ChatGPT in just minutes. I gave it my requirements in plain text, and ChatGPT was able to pre-process my dataset, find the optimal number of clusters for k-means clustering, build the model, and even deliver data-driven insights. I also recently saw this article on Business Insider stating that programming and analytics-related roles were amongst the most at risk of being automated away by AI. This article goes on to say that this is because, one, ChatGPT can produce code faster than a human can, and two, ChatGPT can analyze data, predict outcomes, and deliver insights in human language. Which brings me to reason number three. ChatGPT is bridging the gap between humans and technology. Now, I don't know about you, but many non-technical stakeholders I've worked with struggle to interpret data, even if it's in the form of a dashboard or an Excel file. These are busy people, and they need results in a simple, straightforward manner in plain English. For example, if a marketing manager comes to you and asks you which of these customers are the most likely to buy a bottle of shampoo from us, you've got to present the results to them in a simple, concise way in just a couple of slides. Now, as a large language model, this is something ChatGPT excels at. You can ask it a question about your dataset in plain English, like which of these customers are the most likely to buy shampoo from us again? And ChatGPT will do all the computation, build the machine learning models, and give you the response in simple, non-technical terms. This equips non-technical people to read and interpret data without requiring a data scientist or a data analyst in the middle, ultimately democratizing data science. Okay, so all of those are the reasons as to why data science is in danger. And I can almost see some of you shaking your heads angrily at the screen and disagreeing with me. But before you go ahead and start commenting or downvoting this video, please watch the rest of it because we're now going to look at the bright side or the reasons why your data science job is safe, at least for now. Reason number one is that ChatGPT cannot handle complex data science workloads. Data scientists and analysts often collect data from various sources, consolidate it, and use different tools to derive insights from it. For the most part, our jobs are not as simple as simply uploading a dataset to ChatGPT. For example, I'm currently working on a data science project that requires me to analyze thousands of PDF files. A task like this is challenging because of scale. I'm using multi-threading to speed up the process, and I also have to handle each PDF file differently because they're structured differently with tables and images. I tried to see if ChatGPT could help me process one file, just one document, which I uploaded using the code interpreter or the advanced data analysis plugin. And the model failed because it wasn't able to access the necessary packages that were required to help me analyze even one document. Of course, I did get ChatGPT to help me write some of the code for this analysis, but someone with no programming experience would not have been able to validate or debug this code. The second reason your data science job is safe is because generative AI models like ChatGPT cannot emulate human decision making. Many leading business and data experts talk about how even the most sophisticated LLMs lack critical thinking and problem solving skills. These models don't have enough insight into your organization and industry to be able to make decisions. For example, 
If you were to ask a model like ChatGPT, why did toothpaste sales in our company suddenly go down in the last two months? It isn't going to have a proper answer for you. This is because it doesn't have enough context as to how your company works and about your industry to be able to give you an informed response. And although I'm sure companies will soon start training LLMs like ChatGPT on their own datasets, I still believe that there are going to be many knowledge gaps. As a data scientist myself, I often speak to different teams to get a better understanding of the business problem. For example, if toothpaste sales went down, I would speak to product and marketing to understand what they did differently. And then I use what they tell me as an indicator of whether sales are going to plummet further or whether they're going to go back up. Maybe a competitor came up with this new type of gum and all of our customers have switched to gum and have stopped brushing their teeth altogether. I would incorporate this as a variable into my model and forecast accordingly. Of course, this is a rudimentary example, but my point is that LLMs just don't have the ability to engage in the kind of collaborative problem solving the way that humans do. The final reason I think data science jobs won't just disappear is because LLMs are prone to hallucinations. They often make mistakes when writing code, interpreting data, and generating insights. Making a business decision based on numbers generated by an AI model isn't the smartest thing to do. And this is a risk that most organizations will not be willing to take. So I think human data scientists will still be required to validate the output generated by AI models. In fact, in my own experience, the organizations I've worked with often have two ways of generating predictions. They have an internal team of data scientists and they hire an external consulting firm. So they're essentially paying twice for the same project and they make sure that the numbers generated by these two entities align before they proceed to make a business decision. Now, let me ask you this. If organizations are willing to spend tens of thousands of dollars to hire an external consulting firm just to cross-validate the predictions made by their own internal team of data scientists, do you really think that they're going to replace their data scientists with an AI model? It does sound highly unlikely. In my opinion, AI-generated predictions will serve as a baseline. It will be yet another way to validate the predictions made by the data science team. So it won't replace data scientists, rather it will serve as an additional method of verification. Okay, so now that I've given you three reasons as to why ChatGPT will replace data scientists and another three reasons as to why it will not, I will leave it to you the person watching this video to come up with an informed decision as to whether data science is still a lucrative career path. But before we end this video, I do want to give you my opinion on next steps. If you're in the data industry, or really any technical industry for that matter, the job landscape is going to change dramatically, and you're going to have to adapt and continuously learn in order to survive in it. So here are some ways in which you can AI-proof your career. Advice number one is embrace AI. Use it to continuously learn new things and stay on top of your feet. The worst possible thing you can do right now is to just pretend that this isn't happening and that AI isn't going to dramatically change the way you work. Instead, use generative AI to get parts of your job done more efficiently. Use it to automate your work. And then use any time savings to learn new skill sets that will set you apart from others in your field. My second piece of advice is that you build multiple streams of income and don't depend solely on your full-time job. You can start freelancing to get a second income source. This way, your livelihood isn't dependent on the decisions made by a single employer. Finally, it is my opinion that the emphasis is going to move away from technical expertise. With generative AI, things like programming, building machine learning models, and working with specialized software is only going to get easier. And companies are going to place more emphasis on skills like creativity, decision making, problem solving, and domain expertise. The last thing you want to do is to be in competition with AI. You don't want to be the guy who's managing an Excel sheet or the person everyone goes to to refresh a quarterly report. You don't want to be the code monkey because generative AI is only going to get better at doing these things. Instead, if you know how to use generative AI to achieve the company's goals and improve efficiency, you're going to be far more valuable to organizations than someone who possesses technical skills only. 
I know that these are scary, uncertain times, but all we can do is adapt and see what the future holds. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do like it and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more data science and AI tips and tutorials soon.